welcome back to my channel. Um, so this video is going to be about how to connect with your ancestors and how to start an altar and how to set up your altar. Um, I was asked in my DMs the other day about this, um, about how to connect with ancestors and spiritual journey you know it's very important because that's that's a mainly the time when people start connecting or you know maybe ascending when they when they lose someone and then they start you know 
noticing weird things or lights may flicker things of that nature and that's just them that's just them trying to their spirit is you know in limbo with uh, the 3d realm and the 4d realm and the 5d realm you know they're trying to move on but when when we're down here and we're worried and we're angry you know we're angry maybe because of how things have happened and how they had to go off into the spirit realm or you know whatever the case may be they don't want you feeling like that so they try to let you know that you're that you know they're with you and that you're that they're okay and that you're okay but with you being here in the 3d realm you may get scared or startled or things like that so that's just them letting you know that they're um they're present but when you get into you know want to connect with them and want to understand and understand the signs and symbols that they're sending you um you can do things like set up set up an altar and talking to your ancestors also if you meditate that's very important too because you know that can help you to understand messages that you receive i see a lot of um i see birthdays and i see initials um of loved ones that's gone loved ones that's still here um and it's just all about being in alignment with the universe everything is one and when you have an understanding and understanding of that everything will be clear you'll start to see their favorite color songs may come on um that remind you of them when they reminded you know of you of a time that you spent with that that person um and these are all connections. This is how you connect with their ancestors when you start speaking to them and giving gratitude. Giving gratitude is number one too. You know, you have to give to receive, you know. That's why you give offerings. That's just giving them thanks. Like, okay, thank you for being here. Thank you for working with me. Thank you for everything that's to come. Thank you for the protection. Thank you for clarity. Thank you for shifting some things in my life. It may have been a rough, uh, a windy road to get to where I needed to be, but thank you for helping me get there. You know, give give gratitude to your ancestors because they're with you twenty four seven. They're always with you. They're always protecting you. So yeah, um, make sure you have water on your altar. A picture. You can write a letter. Um, you can do a feather for air. The fire for um, the candle for fire. Water, earth. Um, you can have your herbs or you know your fruits. Um, things like that and that's just like the simple basic keys to you know setting up an altar and connecting with your ancestors um i really got noticed at the beginning of my journey when i began meditating and things like that i started meditating outside and i don't know if that like enhanced things or you know well i, I feel like it does because you know you're outside especially like early in the morning when the sun is coming up um that's a good time to meditate you know um even if you can't do the whole close your eyes and just breathe even if you just stare at a plant or watch the trees move and watch look at the sun, look at the clouds those are all forms of meditation um watching fire dance you know that's all forms of meditation and connecting with spirit and um you'll just start to notice uh, you know, a shift. You'll just start to notice things, but it's very important to connect with your ancestors um, because they're here to help you. Um, the, I, don't, I guess it would be called an analogy. I was never, I'm not good with all those words. Like I remember back to school, but I think it would be an analogy. Um, think of it like this. When you're playing a video game, it's your player in the game, but you, the player can't really communicate with you because you're outside of the game. But you're assisting your player in the game to the best of you know your the abilities. You're for your your player. You're part of your player. You know the player is you inside the game. That's you. That's your person. So if everything is connected, think of your ancestors as being outside of the game with the controller. They know more than you. You know they're here to help you they're they're outside and they're above you right you know they're around you okay and you're in the 3d still navigating but they're assisting you with that navigation okay so i think that's the best way that i can think of uh, think about it to explain things um, in simple terms i guess but that's all i have um thank you guys for watching and also thank you to the person who asked me that question um because i was already planning on doing this whole after awakening video thing 
but I didn't know really I didn't really know where to start and I think this was the main thing um, this is very important it's always important to start with your ancestors and to start with um, cleansing and setting up altars and meditation and things of that sort so um, yeah just do some research and just go with what feels right with you okay um, you'll know when it's time and you'll know when you're ready so thank you all for watching um, be sure to like and leave a comment down below if this video resonated with you or if you, you know, enjoyed this video and you want to share it to all your platforms, go ahead and do that for me. And also shop on my website, um, Black Friday sale coming soon. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.